It's my birthday so you know I'm about to pig out. <laughs> I am pretty excited at the same time bummed out my hard plans for this year's birthday but at the same time I am happy that I get to enjoy my birthday at home with my family as the vlog continues I will be telling you the 28 things I've learned in the last year anyway if you're new to the channel hit subscribe and um, thumbs up and share this video it would really make my birthday if you did so I've decided for my birthday I'm gonna dress up. My sister Tasha is cooking for us for my birthday. A hamburger with some fries with some cake, chocolate cake baked by my sister Tasha. So I'm definitely picking out y'all. My sister is baking for me. So long as you don't show me because I knew I'm you'd woke. say that. I knew you'd say I'm that. woke. I woke sis. No name Madara. They say if your hand is bigger than your face. I don't know. I don't know. I, was, I forgot the joke. <laughs> I forgot the joke. So she's baking for me her famous chocolate cake. To a special request for my birthday that I wanted. So and thank you. I can start with the first lesson I've learned in the last year, which is enjoy every day as it comes. You know, we're in a time right now where things are crazy, so it's easy not to enjoy every day and complain. And even if it means doing one small thing every day that will make you happy, do it. The next is do what you feel in, a, in the moment, which kind of ties into enjoy every day as it comes. For me, I found that doing what I feel in the moment contributed to a lot of the happiness I've experienced in the last year. Even if it may seem stupid to you, it's not stupid to you, it's something that your body is craving to do. So, do it, do it. Love feels like the love you feel for your child. I thought I had known real love until I had a child. Love is pure, love is unconditional, love is wholesome. I look so haphazard. I even style my hair. I cannot be looking like this on my birthday. It don't matter if I'm home, I gotta look good for my birthday. I gotta look good for my birthday. The next point is don't take life for granted. This is so important. Life is very delicate. The next point is don't take your body parts for granted. I mean, if you have followed my journey, you know exactly why I would say this. Appreciate every body part that you have that's functional, that's functioning normally, because you never know what situation may occur that will lead you to either not having it anymore or it changing completely or you being afraid to use it <laughs> yeah okay yes tasha okay it was 180 for five minutes <laughs> Guys, the next point, it's okay to cut off any negative energy that is in your life and ignore, do not feel guilty that you have done so. Because those people don't feel guilty when they're giving you negative energy. They don't feel guilty. We don't. Another one would be when people treat you badly, it's a reflection of them and not you. I'm personally an, an empath and I usually blame myself a lot. The outcome of always blaming myself was I got depressed. So. No. Another thing is that good people exist. When when I came out with my story, I did not expect the amount of love that I got from people all over the world. It really restored my faith in humanity. Another major, major, major lesson. There's no such thing as too much information. And this is in every aspect of life. For me, how I learned that was when I went to give birth to my boo-boo. Being informed, information is power. One more before I go check on what's happening in the kitchen. Self-love is top. Without self-love, you can't love others. Pouring out of an empty cup is very hard. My main goal has been healing from all the all the crap that I had been through so that I can also fully love my daughter, fully love my family, fully love my friends. What? Ah. Tama. <laughs> You're almost giving me a heart attack on my birthday, dude. Hi. Say hi YouTube, it's my mommy's birthday. 
<laughs> the girl was screaming. Gosh, you're supposed to be asleep, dude. Utaki kulala. Okay, kuto. Come. Stand. Say hi. Whoopsie. Stand. Good girl. Kiss mommy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Say happy birthday, mommy. Mm. <laughs> Since this girl has refused my stories of her going to sleep, the next point for me would be one day can change a lot. The day that changed a lot for me was the day I went to give birth. It changed positively and negatively. Positively because I got my baby, negatively because my body changed. The next would be self-care is very important and for me self-care is how you eat and how regularly you exercise don't drop the bag boo boo ever since i changed what i consume i've noticed a huge difference if you eat badly you're setting yourself up for sickness later on in life Just treat your body well basically here's your handbag ah yeah yeah now you can stand the next step for me would be point would be hey, money makes a difference in your life and by that i mean having money which ties into the next point which is financial responsibility is important if you're financially responsible with your money from an early stage from the beginning from when you make your first amount of money it will make a difference in your life in that you if you have a rainy day account you will have money for situations that you do not plan for major key alert someone say major key alert major key alert yeah you want to wear mommy's shoes okay yeah <laughs> Ah, yeah. Play the shoe. Let's go play. Who's ready to play? Oh. Ah, yeah. It's so cute. What's up, Cole? Stand up. Stand up. Walk then. Come. Good girl, come. <laughs> come to mama, what's up on the camera? Come to mama. Yay, kiss mommy. <laughs> come to mama. Do wa 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 wa. Say mama. Mama. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Mommy. Tasha is playing again. I'm coming. You're doing this for the gram? Wow. Next point for me would be parenting isn't as easy as it looks. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll see on Google. And it takes a lot of learning on the job to be a parent. It's not everything that they tell you on the internet that it's it's Bible. <laughs> I think that toy. Every child is different and you have to learn like everything to do with the specific child. But it's fun and it's a beautiful journey. Another thing is not everything deserves a response. I had to learn the hard way that you don't need to respond to everything. Just evaluate things that need responses and things that don't need responses. Sleep is important. I took sleep for granted before becoming a mommy. I took sleep for granted. And now that I've become a mommy and a mommy who's like really hustling to make ends meet sleep is nowhere to be found it's just 
youthful activities are not really that important and by youthful activities i mean things like clubbing i, I have been trying to understand in the last year why i was so like obsessed with clubbing and partying and all that and for me right now and i look at it i see it as a as an obstacle like it it's, it consumes a lot of money a lot of time it takes away your sleep kenya power and the horrible ass timing have decided chantelle is not going to have electricity on her birthday on my birthday kenya power kenya power really haters enemies of progress can you imagine this nonsense kenya power is putting me through today kenya power has decided to cooperate and steam my merudi thank goodness yeah it was so annoying 20 minutes without steamer can you imagine that another point i'll say is persistence leads to success in my journey of influencing i've been an influencer since november 2017 and november 2019 is the first time i got a paid partnership and i can't imagine if i had not if i had quit um because it took me two years to get such Thank God I didn't. Persist, persist, persist and continue doing what you love. You will get there. Happiness is a personal thing. It will be missions placing your happiness on other people. You have to find happiness on your own. Sama Nike Oreda. Happiness has to be something that you achieve on your own. Um, uh, and i have been taking on that journey in the last year and that's why i'm so big on doing things that make me happy the same way with love how you cannot pour out from an empty cup is the same way with happiness you can't be happy with other people if you're not happy with yourself so it's something that you have to achieve on your own At that chef Natasha in the his house that's my dinner those two burgers are mine wow this is much better than ordering in from a restaurant yeah but the burger reaction loading okay. I already did mm. okay Uh, it'll make me cry again. Mm -hmm. mm, this is so much better than a restaurant burger. Look at this dessert. Hey, 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 hey. When I said cheat day, my sister took me seriously. It smells so good. It is exactly what I wanted. Chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me try it. Thank you, Tasha. Yes. Okay, mm. let's I'm getting four. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> She's fine. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. I must spend my money that I don't have it's right your now. It's your birthday. I must spend my money. Okay, Where this money at? Where this money at? Where this money at? This money at? Summer, go down. 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 Summer, Damn. Oh, man, how did I get it so quick? Why couldn't you let me sugar. win on my birthday? Ah, <laughs> Listen, as a family, we keep it real. <laughs> Please look at me. Please look at me. Please look at me. Mommy's red. <laughs> Mommy's so finished. Yes, you're very clever. You know what I remember? My mom 
mom was like, Ati, let's see who's been in the school in school recently. That's that was mom's statement. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I thought also. As you guys are talking, I'm seeing Sheke and Summer's face. I can't even remember which one is which. Yeah. Sheke looks exactly the way summer looks now mm. <laughs> so weird and so I, it's so weird and so when the one i'm remembering now is when you were really when you were born you know you were so small i would sing for you the very same songs that i'm singing to summer and you would just watch me mesmerize like you just look at me and you wouldn't even like blink you know yeah so it's unbelievable that i'm now singing now to your daughter um so that's one when you were really young um are we are these all baby stories no any age just any, any memories mm. okay the other thing that i remember is when i used <laughs> I used to come look for you in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're wondering why we were laughing so hard, my mom got, you know, one of those confusing WhatsApp messages that like quiz you, the one for a policeman left his house and opened his fridge, blah, blah. So my mom got one that was mathematical and yo. <sighs> It killed my brain cells so my mom basically was like let me quiz you guys and see who really did perform well in school and he failed so hard talk about the best birthday ever i have not laughed that much in a long long time i have eaten so much you guys i look like i'm pregnant manage expectations managing expectations is great because it um lowers disappointment obstacles and disappointments are part of life this is something that i have had to learn the hard way <laughs> my plans for 2019 were grand after birthing my child and that got shattered when i got fistula it's when an obstacle shows up learn how to adjust it's okay to feel what you feel at any given moment don't ever let anybody or anything make you feel um differently from what you're feeling do what's best for you life is not a competition oh guys People, instead of supporting each other, we are acting like we are each other's competition. Yet, your only competition as an individual is yourself. You're only supposed to be competing with your past self to become better. There's enough room for everybody to win. Downtime is okay and it's okay to change your mind. Downtime is so important, especially as a content creator when you're cons you have pressure. If you feel that way, take a step back and take a chill pill. Reevaluate your life and your choices <laughs> and what you're trying to do and sleep like i said sleep is important take time away from what could be contributing to burnout identifying those who really are for you and you for them just basically people who reciprocate your energy and they get you and you get them monitoring your health is very important basically things like going for checkup to ensure your body is okay especially after becoming a parent you realize how your health is so important because your child needs you around health is wealth lastly do not let social media get to you social media is toxic toxic unfortunately we live in a time where social media is like the core of our lives it's up to you to decide do i want to see that stuff or do i just want to move on with life i have been taking the ignoring it path because i already have so many things stressing me in this life the theme of my lessons has been achieving happiness and peace and healing and love self-love from within and love for others and just doing life the best way that you can thank you so much for tuning into my birthday vlog i hope you enjoyed it it was a bit of a different way that i did it this year but yeah thank you for tuning in and if you've reached this far you are an amazing tribe member thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and see you in the next video i love you guys Mwah.